Hi everyone, welcome back to the Casual Watch Review channel. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know that the, my favorite watch in the collection is my Amiga Speedmaster here. It's kind of the watch that started it all for me, the watch collecting bug. I've had it for about 12 years now, but the watch itself comes from the 90s. I had it dated around 1992. It's the Calibre 1863, or the Sapphire Sandwich, as it was affectionately known. It has the Hesselite on the front and then the Sapphire on the back, so you can see that gorgeous movement inside. I've never had the watch serviced, so I've had it for 12 years, and the paperwork that I got with the watch, I don't think it had ever been serviced previous to that, so I decided that it really needed some love, so I took it into Omega themselves to get serviced. So this upload is really going to take you through the process, what it was like to deal with them, how long it took, and then at the end, I'm going to show you the good bits, all of the parts that they replaced, and then we're going to have a close-up and show you the polishing that they did on the, on the band and also the case, and then let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I cover all Herology subjects, watches, luxury, right down to affordable. And I also do a lot of interviews with some really interesting people. So if you enjoy that type of content, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment to let me know that you're a, you're a new subscriber. Anyway, let's flip the camera around and get started. Now, what I'm going to show you is my normal Speedmaster that you've seen many times on the channel. In fact, it featured in one of my best performing videos, which was cool, called uh, Amiga Speedmaster 10 Years on the Wrist. I've had it for about 12 years, and there's a couple of comments that I got on that video very regular. Either you really need to get that watch serviced, or why would you fix a watch with a paperclip? But a bit more about that if you're not familiar with the story as we progress. The model number of mine is the 35. 72-50-00. So let's open it up and see what we've got. Now, I'm going to try and splice in some footage of what this look, watch looked like before, but honestly, they've done an amazing job. I got this serviced by Amiga in uh, the South Coast Plaza shopping mall, which is here in Orange County in California. They sent it not to Switzerland to be serviced, but they sent it to Seattle. So that's its main location. Now I sent it off on April the 14th and I got it back. It's now June the 6th, but I got it back on the 5th. So it was about eight weeks. I think the experience is always pretty mediocre in that boutique, to be quite honest. It's in a very high-end mall. Uh, there's all sorts of watch shops there. It's even got a Lange, uh, Langenzun uh, retail there. The boutique is never, uh, you know, it's a good boutique. They've got an awesome window display at the moment with a gold uh, Buzz Aldrin in the window to commemorate the 50th anniversary, and they've got a nice poster of him there. But they're never, you know, there's never any, like, chit-chat about what or anything uh, I've, I think I've only been in there once where they've they've actually talked about the this watch uh, but that guy's long gone now they won't they don't you know there's no kind of pomp or circumstance in there so I wasn't expecting anything special from that boutique so let's just have a look at what they did so they completely disassembled the watch they've repolished the case I because I had this second hand I have never seen this watch honestly I've never seen it look so good it, they've done an absolute fantastic job the band i have never seen it look like that it is so nicely polished and the case and the sides there used to be a massive uh scratch on the side here really noticeable and that's completely gone you can see where they've tried to polish some of the dints out but they didn't want to go too deep they haven't over polished it they've put some of the brushing back on they replaced the pushers they replaced the crown they replaced the hands they replaced all of the gaskets and as you'd expect they replaced the hesalite crystal on here as well now the whole thing cost me uh, they charge 750 dollars for the service and then they charge me $59 for a new clasp which I think's pretty cheap. I was quoted what will have been what would have been well over $100 for this uh, clasp when I broke the uh, first one which I'll show you. So they've uh, uh, they replaced that for like $59. So the whole thing came to $809. Now when I came in to collect it I was fully expecting them to take tax 
Now, if anyone outside of the US might not be familiar with this, but in the US, they take tax at the till because in each state it, it can vary. So it's not like the UK where there's a value added tax that is when you purchase the item, it's included in the price. Usually they'll add tax on. So I was expecting this to be nearer a thousand dollars because the tax rate in California sort of just over seven percent, I think. So I was expected to pay a lot more, but there was no tax on it. And I'm not sure why that is. If anybody knows, leave it in the the comment section down below. One of the things I wanted to address was why I sent it off to Amiga. So I'm sure I'm going to get some comments about, wow, $750 is really expensive. I did get a lot of quotes from other people and I also wanted to get it done by Amiga as its first ever service after 27 years. Uh, so I could also do this video to let you know what the experience was like. So if you're thinking of getting your watch done by Amiga, if you have got the money, then I highly recommend it. They replaced the pins on the bracelet. Whilst instead of me talking about what they replaced, let's have a proper look at what they replace now. So first up on the replacement pile is the hands. So they've taken the hands off and then they've put it in this. This is just that um, kind of plastic that they use to protect the watch face. So they've just sealed it in there. The hands weren't in particularly bad shape. In fact, they, you can't really tell a lot of difference between the hands that they've left them on. But they have replaced them with exactly the same hands as you'd expect on there. Let's have a look at some of these other parts now. So first off, they've replaced the Hesolite. They've replaced the seal. So this is my old one. This is the back seal, the water seal. Uh, the, the Speedmaster only has a 30 meter uh, water resistance, so too much to write home about no 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 kind of they did do a pressure test though and they timed it to plus four seconds a day which i thought was nice but with timing a speed mass is always difficult because it doesn't have hacking there's another little seal here now i think this must be some component of the hesolite here uh, although it is a bit smaller i'm not exactly sure what that is it might be uh between the dial and the movement so if anybody knows let me know in the comment section down below then let's let's just tip a lot of this out. So some of these parts, uh, they replace the spring bar, as we can see here. And then some of these are the pins, I believe, uh, from the band. They replaced a few of the pins. So let's move them out of the way. And then let's get... Uh, I'll do the buckle right at the end. So we've got one more, um, one more of the seals here as well. There we go. Put that out of the way. And then these are the other parts that they replaced so we can see the crown they completely replaced the crown uh, i'm not sure if they use my original stem there isn't a stem in here but they replaced the crown uh they also replaced there's the other spring bar and then they replaced the pushers now these were corroded i'll try and put a close up here but they those were corroded in in there or they had a lot of gunk in them so they completely replaced those and then i think the rest of this stuff is pins and then we've got the other the other pusher in there as well there so these were the parts they replaced now what they did replace as well was obviously the buckle here if anybody seen my amiga 10 years on the wrist i fixed this part of the buckle with a paper clip and look the paper clip is still going strong here they obviously noticed also there was a bend in here as well uh, how i broke this is the the watch kind of went back on itself there and it slid back down the seat of a couch when i wasn't when i wasn't looking and then I, I kind of sat on it. I know it's awful to say, isn't it? But I did. I sat on it. I, I've got to be honest. So I, I tried to bend this back and that did break. And then I fixed it with a paper clip and it was absolutely fine. Um, but they, they spotted me. They caught me out. They knew that I'd fixed it. So they wanted to replace it uh, on there as well. Uh, they, they send you a list of stuff they want to replace that's outside of the original, um, you know, the $750. One of the things I thought was interesting on this is they've polished it now they let me know straight away they were going to replace it it had been in seattle i guess less than two days before they email me so they must have chosen to polish this after uh the fact just i'm not sure why maybe they were practicing polishing this one before they polished the case so they could get the grit right or something on the on the thing but yeah they polished this which i thought was quite interesting like and they, they polished it all the way through as well because this was real as you can see this is smooth this is real this was really really scratched 
but they've polished it and it you know it looks cool even though I, I can't really ever use it again so let's just look back on the watch now one thing i don't know is if they replaced any parts inside I'm not sure whether they do replace some of the parts inside but just don't send them to you because none of these parts are, are internal, they're all external parts. So I'm not sure whether Omega replace internal parts and then they have a policy not to send them. Again, if anybody else knows, let me know in the, the comment section down below. It feels like a brand new Speedmaster. And like I said at the start, I have never seen it look this good because I bought it secondhand. It, it was already quite well uh, patinaed by the time I got it. So I have never seen it look this good. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Uh, would you have your, do you think it's worth it to get Omega to properly service your watch? Or if you, if you guys had good experiences getting them serviced uh, by third party companies? Uh, I'm, I'm impressed I had it done. Yeah, it was a bitter pill to swallow, 800 and 50, uh, $809, but I'm glad it's done now and Hopefully, I won't need to get it done for another 20 or so years because this is the one keeper in my collection. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you want to ask me any questions, you can contact me on any of these social media links or directly at thecasualwatchreviewer at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.